Hey, good morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. We have to talk about our least favorite type of weather, ice, freezing rain. And it does look like there's a significant period of freezing rain, widespread, not just hit and miss, but widespread across, I would call it the southern half of lower Michigan. And on the timeline, I would say it is um, late this evening in the western part of the state, southwestern part of the state. By late this evening, I mean after 8 o'clock this evening. Uh, well, thank you. Um, and then definitely, you know, middle of the night for the eastern part of the state. So, in other words, for everybody, by the time you try to head off to work or school tomorrow morning, it does look like it's going to be uh, icy. Hey there, Tammy Thornborough. Hi there. And Thomas Fick. Um, yeah, I'll gussy it up today. I got to go um, to the Grand Rapids M Live hub today. All right, so let's get to it and show you what's going on. Uh, travel, I've said this all along, the best travel day is today. That's why I picked today, today to go to Grand Rapids. Uh, a little bit of light activity up in the north, but across southern lower, nothing going on. Hey, good morning, my buddy Jeff Gilbert there. All right, here it is. Uh, winter weather advisory basically for all of lower Michigan except this tier of counties, and that's under the jurisdiction of, a, of the Northern Indiana National Weather Service. So it might just be uh, that they're a little bit slower. Uh, what's in store for Atlanta tonight? I'm assuming you're talking about up here. Yeah, Atlanta, Michigan. Uh, you've got the freezing rain coming by tomorrow morning. Uh, thanks for joining me. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa with your morning weather update. This right here is an ice storm. <clears throat> Chicago, O'Hare, back toward the south and west, and maybe just a little bit different of a philosophy from the Weather Service offices in Michigan, and maybe just a touch heavier ice accumulation. So here we go. This is the radar forecast for today, and like I said, this is today. This is this is seven o'clock tonight. So you've got a good chance of traveling uh, nicely for today, and then we go into ten o'clock tonight, and one in the morning. Okay, now, pink is freezing rain, orange is sleet and ice pellets, and there can be freezing rain and snow mixed in there. Models aren't perfect. And then this is snow to the north. Why do I think Chicago went under an ice storm warning and we're under an advisory? They probably, they're at three, four tenths of an inch of ice accumulation. We're at two to maybe three tenths. What time should I get groceries tomorrow in Holland, Michigan? You should get them today <laughs> in Holland, Michigan. Okay. Yeah, John Timmer, I know that moving weather is always crazy. We'll get to how much in each city. So we are at 4 in the morning tomorrow. And remember, the darker pinks, that's the heavier freezing rain. Sleet ice pellets. Flint northward looks like it's more sleet ice pellety then freezing rain. Uh, here is 7 o'clock in the morning. And actually, this is a period between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. So it's not just one spot. So basically, you get to, say, Flint southward, and you've got solid freezing rain, it looks like, during the uh, morning hours. Try to get my phone to straighten out. Dang thing. Okay, we're at uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Freezing rain still in the southeast. Ann Arbor, I'm getting to it in just a minute. I don't predict the, the cancellations. I predict the weather. We'll let them decide. Okay, and then in the afternoon it is done. And here comes the next system, which will surge warm air into our area. So any ice will be gone by sometime on Thursday, at least for southern lower. Northern lower will get into a little strip of ice there once again. How much ice? Here it is. Uh, you know, let's call it a total ice accumulation of about 
two to three tenths of an inch in the southern lower. Okay. N get to the Tri City, Saginaw Bay City, Midland. You're talking a tenth, maybe two tenths of an inch. And then this ice in the north is for the Thursday period of freezing rain. Okay. Haha, <laughs> Weather Channel off. I like that, Rita. That's just for Wednesday. This is for Wednesday. This is for Thursday. Okay. Do you see them upgrading the winter weather advisory? Yes, if it comes true and you start to get a burst of rain, they usually do this ice storm warning. Now, bear in mind there are that's a big there's a big range of outcomes on an ice storm. You know, that's our scariest word. Ice storm. Whoa, 1967. No, not something like that. Two, three tenths, some wind. It can bring down a dead tree or a dead branch onto uh, what's called localized power outages. Uh, temperatures should be good so that when the salt gets going on the interstate and gets mixed around, it roads would improve Wednesday afternoon on major treated roads. And then, like I said, Thursday, I'm going to show you, we go into the 40s and 50s once again, southern lower, and that takes care of anything. Uh, no freezing rain for Lansing Thursday? No. Not at all. Here we go. Thursday, it turns mild in southern lower. So this is today, and it's kind of on the cool side. And then we go into tonight, and that's what sets us up for freezing rain tonight, is temperatures in the upper 20s. And we get to 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So if you've got precipitation falling, it's warm aloft, and it's, say, 29 in Oakland County, 30 in Detroit, 31 Ann Arbor, 30, 26 in Grand Rapids, 28 in Flint. Okay, then that is a freezing rain pattern. You can see why. And as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, let's go to mid-afternoon. You get some 33s, 34s, 35s. So that's why I say the roads that get some salt on them, then it should have uh, a melting effect, a pretty good melting effect. Maybe not side roads, maybe not unsalted roads, but definitely the interstates you'll get that uh, around. Then look what happens as we go into Thursday. The next, the main wave of the storm system comes out at us and temperatures start to warm up into the 40s and 50s were middle of the day Thursday and then we go into Thursday evening and the warmth gets sucked into southeast lower with temperatures in the 40s and 50s so any ice would definitely be gone the question is up north if it will get to the 40s and take away a brief period of ice too and then of course we are back into winter it looks like uh, in modified form in something that we can handle we're talking uh, Friday high temperatures in the teens so we've been through worse than that already this year and the arctic air will stay poised off to the west okay so i don't see anything that's really significant as far as arctic air coming up anytime soon there you have it today simple good day to travel if you have to do it best day probably of the week to travel Tomorrow, a mess. We'll keep you updated, but plan on tomorrow morning's drive if you have to do it. Probably very hazardous, dangerous. Um, Thursday, warmth surging into the southern half, southern two-thirds of lower, taking any problems away, and then cold air comes in with off and on uh, snow showers. Someone's asking about weekend snow. No. High pressure builds in. We get sunshine and cold. Adrian is getting nailed. I think you're looking at probably, Adrian, you're probably looking at a tenth to two tenths of an inch of ice accumulation. I don't know that I would call that being nailed. Um, boy, I'm even, it's Azia Mendoza. Uh, you know, you're going to have the slick roads tomorrow morning. Now you and Adrian have a chance of getting up to 34, 35 Wednesday afternoon, taking that away at least on the main roads, 
okay? And then Friday, or Thursday rather, you get really warm into the 40s and 50s. Same deal, somebody just asked about other southern lower uh, cities. Grand Rapids, you're going to have the freezing rain, it looks like, probably by before midnight, I would say, probably 9, 10 o'clock this evening. You'll have a tenth, two tenths of an inch of freezing rain with some sleet and snow mixed in there. Sometimes that helps the situation when you get that mix. Uh, Deanna, we do cover the UP. This is all missing the UP. The UP doesn't have any noteworthy weather out of this system until you get to Thursday and you get uh, snow. Michelle, where is this uh, issue happening? You're probably just joining us late. Let's take a look at it. Okay. This again shows you where the winter weather advisory is in effect, ice storm warning. And you know, this is a good way to get a good feel for the track of it. And then I'll go back to the total snow, total ice accumulation. And you know, where do you get it the most? Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, uh, Jackson, Lansing, Ann Arbor, uh, Flint, Detroit. So there's the strip that gets it most, and then north of it you get some freezing rain, tenth of an inch, with sleet and snow mixed in there. South of it you get lesser freezing rain and it melts off. Okay, so what about central Michigan area? I think you're looking at sleet, snow, and about a tenth of an inch of ice, and uh, Scott Allen, Flint, 9 p.m. tonight should still be dry in Flint. I would say it starts in Flint midnight or after midnight. St. John's, you're probably a tenth to two tenths of an inch of ice, and it's a middle of the night thing type two. Will Metro Airport be open on Wednesday evening? <sighs> that airport is so frustrating, I'll tell you. Um, they are going to have some ice, and then they should warm up to about 33, 34. If you could salt a runway, which I don't know if they can. I don't think they can. Um, should be okay, but you know how Detroit Metro. So there you have it. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Uh, I'm heading to the Grand Rapids MLive Hub for a couple of meetings today. I'll keep you updated. It's been pretty consistent. I don't see a whole lot of change. You know, it might move up an hour or two, might slow down an hour or two, might get a little a degree or two more warmth tomorrow afternoon, help things out a bit a little quicker. But otherwise, I think the main thing is you better plan on tomorrow morning being icy and you better plan on the uh, school district that your kids go to school at having to make some sort of decision, yes or no. All right, this is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have a great Tuesday.